I remember seeing Matt on Ultimate Fighter, uh, but never, never had any idea that I'd ever meet up with anybody like that. I think whenever I came on board with, with Trinity Oaks was, was whenever I met Matt Hughes. Number one, knowing that Matt hasn't hunted since the accident, but more importantly, I saw an interview where he was speaking in a, in a theater to someone that was interviewing him, and they're talking about the accident and they said, so what's it like picking up the pieces? Can I say whatever I want? Sure. You can cut out whatever you want, but I've got some good friends and I'll admit I've thought about so sad, but if I commit so sad that I so many people watch me, they might think it's good to do the same thing. So I, I can't do that. Kind of sucks. I can't even kill myself because other people would do the same thing. Talking with Matt at my home four weeks before we put this hunt together, I asked him, I said, do you know why we're doing this? Do you know why I'm doing this? And he looked at me and shook his head no. And I told him that I saw that video. And I said, my hope is that we can give you some purpose and this is where it starts. To me, it's very important. I get on my knees every night and every morning and, and, and pray because I think when I get on my knees, it's the hour side of God that says, I want to talk. So I always get on my knees. I lay up against them on my bed. I always pray for my family and loved ones. I always, I always throw, 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 throw the military in there because those boys and girls are protecting my friends and they're, they, they are risking it risking their life for that, so that's big for me. I can see it in his face that it's those moments that he shared and those stories that he heard on some of these ranches in South Texas that pushed him through. He was serving these guys that were battling and fighting for their lives, and now he's doing that. And that was really, to me, is what I see through him is is, is what has motivated him to come as far as, as he has and made such a miraculous recovery. It's incredible how I, I wasn't killed. Um, the soldier in front of me, one of my soldiers, took shrapnel through the front of his head, exited the back. He's actually living. He survived. Um, the soldier next to him was also hit in the head with shrapnel and died instantly.
you know, just proud to be here. Just really proud to, to be here and be a part of this. It's people like Andy and the family and the staff at places like this that is a reminder that there's still people out there that love this country and what it stands for and what it represents and, and are worth fighting, bleeding, and dying for. Because I've buried 33 of my friends who've died by suicide, and I know eight that were killed in combat. You can't work in this industry and not get a little bit calloused, because you can only hug so many widows and kids and say, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna try harder. And the true heart that I have, and what's really behind all this, is, is for our veterans and first responders. And knowing Matt's respect for them, him saying over and over, they were my biggest fight fans, anything I can ever do, I wanna be there. I know what kind of an impact Matt has on them, and I know what kind of an impact they have on him. So the idea is to bring them and him together to enjoy each other. It may not be that there's a big capital outlay from us. We're not raising big dollars to make this happen, but we're the ones that are stepping up and saying, here's the idea. Who, who wants to come on this ride? And, and every time it's a while, we, we don't know what's gonna happen. You know, every little detail is not planned out, um, but it, it, what's supposed to happen always happens and it always exceeds our expectations. After nine years of, of coordinating hunts and fishing trips, we've got a lot of resources. I think there's a lot of people that would wanna be involved in this. Now we gotta choose the right people. So number one, you gotta find a ranch. But you also need to know how many people are coming. You gotta be thinking about accommodations, meals, drinks, camo, everything that goes with hunting. Well, actually the next day, he calls me up and oh, says, man. dude, he says, we got an opportunity right here. And he tells me the story then, and then I'm like, oh, let's do this. After going to Circle V to visit them, they asked me to come up and, and just see the place. And I met Cheryl and I met Pam. I had no clue, me and my sister just, we knew, we heard the name, but we didn't, we didn't Google it and figure out, trying to figure out who he was because we got trapped in our menu, our grocery list, you know, we didn't really have time to, hey, who is this Matt Hughes? Well, we found out, we watched videos on the porch and we were so amazed at his story, the things, the things he done where I really felt like the decision was made was seeing Pam and Cheryl in the kitchen and seeing their personalities, thinking about Matt's and how well they would be together. It's hard to comprehend everything that he went through. It's, it's incredible that he's made it as far as he has. As you know, I told you I have a brother-in-law in the same situation and he's nowhere near as advanced. Nowhere near as advanced. So then we got to get in touch with some musicians. Matt loves country music and we love to bring country music into all of this too. Uh, there's nothing like a campfire and, and an acoustic guitar and a story. Garrett George gave me a call one day, which we talk pretty regularly. And uh, he started uh, telling me, he's like, man, you know UFC fighter Matt Hughes. I was like, yeah, I grew up on the UFC. I said, that was prime time UFC. He goes, did you know Matt hasn't taken an animal since his wreck? And I said, no, I didn't know that. And he goes, would you be down to come out and play some songs? He loves country music and, and uh, you know, just hang out with him. I mean, it was just a, a no-brainer. Blake Robertson over at Carbach has always been a, a, uh, a supporter of, of what we've done and very rarely has said no. Well, he doesn't say no. He's always sponsored the beer. And what I didn't know was that when they started Carbach and they also started RC Ranch Meat Company. So he started sharing with me this is what we're gonna do, we can also provide the meat. One thing that Ryan and I and our whole team believes in more than anything is, is, is giving back. It's not something that you actually go out and seek on occasion, sometimes it just finds you as your brand morphs. But we have um, definitely looked for opportunities that we wanna associate you know, our brand with and our culture that aligns with the same values. Um, and th this is one of them. Black Rifle has sponsored so many military events down in Bernie, I, I felt like it might be a good idea to give them a call. With, with what they do with the military, I thought, well, let's just bring, let's bring Matt back in and, and introduce him to Patty. I just told her what we were putting together and 
what it was going to look like and asked them if they wanted to be a part of it. And you can see what they did. Knowing what we were, what we're about to get into, I know how inspirational this could be. And I, I'm, I want to bring the best of the best. And it's, you got to think about photography and you got to think about media. And that's going to be Bella Media and Jeremy Locke, seven time military photographer of the year, 21 year combat photo journalist, Air Force. And he's got a great story and he's been a part of several events with us as well. I picked up Matt from the airport, and, and all Matt wants is barbecue and sweet tea, and I mean every meal. So we swung into Black's Barbecue and, and uh, saw our buddy Brandon Anderson, who's, who said yes to some things and been a part of, of some of the events we've done, and uh, we went in and ate. One of the last times Matt was down, which was about six weeks before this hunt, he showed up with two suitcases, and he only shows up with one. And I'm like, well, what's, what's this? He was like, that's my hunting gear. I'm leaving it here with you. So I, I never looked at it until after he left, but I unzipped it and I looked at it, and we got his lace-up boots, we got his camo, which is pretty tattered, but we've got six side. So I sent some photos. I laid out his sizes, his shirts, his pants on my bar. And I sent that to Matt Jones and said, hey man, here's his sizes. And of course they decked him out with everything that he needed, plus rain gear, and really came through strong. All of the products uh, with Six Sight are made in the USA. Uh, we're a true believer that quality goods can be made here in the USA, and a huge fan of the American worker. Uh, Matt was such a huge influence uh, in so many of our lives. Um, in the, the training world and personal fitness and fighting. Uh, and then when he retired from his fighting career and started sh uh, leading the hunting shows, um, I think that just was the whole next level of Matt. And then to understand that he had gone through, the, uh, through his wreck and then not hunted for, since then for, I guess, five years, um, we said, you know, we'd be honored to help get Matt back in the game. And uh, it's been a really special experience. Well, they've got, I'm guessing, 15 to 18 different exotic animals out there. You got black buck, you got stag, you got whitetail bison, elk, uh, endless list. And I think they gave him an option of eight different animals. We ended up finding the addicts and he said he has never shot an addicts before. So we're like, well, so we there we go. Yeah, so we returned to where we originally saw them and got on them originally and then spooked them. So then we started chasing them through then the woods. Then the chase was on. <laughs> Ease up, ease up, branches are in the way, just kind of ease up. He's looking at us. Turn to the left, turn to the left. Okay. He doesn't want to see any animal suffer, and he was very strategic about where he wanted to place the shot. And I think he did it. Gary, you know what I gotta say? I'm back. When I shut the, 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 the addicts, that's the first thing it, it, I'm back. And it was just a proud moment for me with my accent. I, I learned one thing, you have to c c celebrate the small things. So when I make a big accomplishment, like taking an, an animal I've never shot before, it's a proud moment, proud moment for me. 
they know what we're doing, but I need everybody to understand why we're doing this. And so we brought everybody into the lodge and sat down and, and got to really share with them some thoughts, some thank yous, and some music. It's kind of weird and seeing you here without her on your arm. Now it's just you with a whiskey. People really need to understand why I do this. I've lost nine friends to suicide. So this is soul feeding for me. And this is, this is, this is why I've gone through that, so that I can do this. And I believe that with all my heart. So I've been that guy at the bar. I've been that broken heart. I'm finding out that my life isn't so hard compared to some of these people that I'm talking to. And uh, I, I enjoy meeting those type of people and everything, just uh, listening to their stories and stuff like that, um, and what they go through. I know what Matt's overcome. I know what he's, uh, we've all seen what he's overcome with the Frank Trick fight. It's a fight always, so I, I've always been a team person through, through, through my wrestling and through my fighting, wrestling and fighting, I might be out there by myself, but my team is who, who got me ready, who's, who's they also corner me. So the team aspect is good, good your whole life. But more importantly now, that's all over. So what lives on? What does he do now? And where's his purpose? And uh, my hope is that moving forward is that now we've introduced him to some other individuals throughout the past year that he can continue to move forward with, impact veterans, first responders, and anyone else that he feels moved to because he is an inspiration. We started planning this on Memorial Weekend of 2022 and working to piece everyone together to make it good for everybody. I knew two weeks before we had done this that it was done, it just hadn't happened yet. Well now it's happened and I know that I could never be happier with the ranch that we got involved and the staff that was there. For all the sponsors that, that came into this, that got involved, uh, there was nothing else needed. You guys handled everything. When I was fighting, I always, I didn't care about the paycheck and I, I always cared about my sponsors. So that's one thing I controlled is what passes were on my shirts. So I, I had to have a relationship, not just a paycheck or a project. I want a relationship, so all these people are people that I would put on my shorts. Gonna feel like hell forever, ain't nothing new, what you're going through, that's just what girls like her do. This couldn't have happened without all the sponsors and everybody that we've mentioned. And there's a lot more to be done and there's a lot more need. There's a big need out there and there's a lot of veterans and a lot of first responders that are worthy that deserve an event like this, an experience like this. There's a lot of different ways to support and it's time, talent, and treasure. And some of us have all three, some of us have one, but we've all got one. So if you'd like to be a part of this, please reach out to us. But it won't bring her back. I'll try to get there, thank you. Oh man. That's it.